Our mind loves questions, right? It loves questions. We love to answer and find answers to questions. And even if we're not thinking that we're going to answer the question, our subconscious is already out searching for the answer to that question. Would you rather go skydiving or deep sea diving? Do you love Marmite or hate Marmite? Do you prefer sweet or salty popcorn? Now while you're sat there, I guarantee, I can I put money on the fact that you try to answer at least one of those questions and most likely all of them. You can never underestimate the power of questions. I threw those questions out. In your mind you're going, well, I don't really like swimming, I'd probably rather skydive. Or if you're anything like me, you're like, I'm not jumping out an old plane. So if we're constantly trying to answer questions, then we need to start thinking, are we asking the right questions? Not just of other people, but most importantly, are we asking the right questions to ourselves? Imagine waking up, looking at your partner, and they turn to you and say, hey, why are you so horrible? Walking into class and the teacher says, hey, why are you not very clever? Walk onto the bus, look at the driver saying, how late do you reckon you're gonna be today? In any of those scenarios, our reactions would be completely negative. We'd be like, what is going on? Why has someone asked me that kind of question? And if we saw someone else asking those kinds of questions, we would be very uncomfortable and we'd probably address them and say, hey, that's not very nice. And the worst thing is that the person being asked the question would probably start to search for answers. Now they are pretty extreme examples and most of you watching are sat there like, well, I would never do that to anybody. And I appreciate that, you're a good person. But the issue is, you do it to yourself. How many times have you asked yourself what could go wrong with this opportunity? What will I do if I mess up? What will happen if I try and I fail? What will happen if I say to people I'm gonna do something and then it doesn't happen? You ask yourself rubbish questions all the time. And when we ask ourselves rubbish questions, we get rubbish answers. Think about it, if our mind always wants to answer questions and we pose a rubbish question to ourselves, then we're gonna find rubbish answers, we're gonna take rubbish actions, the cycle continues and continues until we've got rubbish results that make our rubbish questions make perfect sense. So we ask ourselves the rubbish questions again and get caught in the spiral. So ladies and gents, what we think about this week is how powerful are questions and are you asking yourself the right questions? And if you do find that actually, yeah, come on, I do ask myself negative or, or rubbish questions. Well done, you've seen the problem, but it's time to challenge that, it's time to try and change that. If you're not happy with the standard of your general moods or the standard of your, your day-to-day feelings, then maybe the standard of your day-to-day -day questions are what the problem is. I can find myself in really low places. When I look at it, it's because I'm asking myself stupid questions. I'm asking myself, well, come out, it's a great idea, but how long is that gonna take to execute? Or ask myself, come out, why is that taking so long? Why haven't you done that yet? Whereas a better question would be, come out, what little thing can you do today to take a step in the right direction? Come out, how excited are you about this project and who could assist you along the way? Ladies and gents, in order to manage our moods, manage our mindsets, especially in a crazy time like this, we need to manage the quality of questions we ask ourselves. So I want to set you a challenge. I want you to see if you can go seven days, seven days without asking yourself a rubbish question. Now that sounds a little bit dramatic, like seven whole days, but what I want you to do at the very minimum is if you find yourself asking a negative question, see it, identify that that's a negative question and replace it with a positive question. In fact, if you're sat there now and you can put your hands up and say, do you know what? I do ask myself negative questions all the time. I'd love you to write down three negative questions you ask yourself on a regular basis. Then I want you to switch them into three positive questions. For example, why am I so bad at maths? Your mind's gonna tell you exactly why you're bad at maths. You can replace that with how do I get better at maths? Then your mind's gonna start thinking, well, how can I get better at math? Why does nobody like me? Your mind's gonna be like, well, let me tell you. You can replace that question with, where can I find like-minded people? And you get the point. So you're asking the same question, you're just asking it in a way that makes your mind go into a positive place rather than a negative place. So ladies and gents, this week, I would love you to start thinking about the quality of your questions. Are your questions negative or are they positive? And anytime you see yourself starting to ask negative questions, I need you to stop, 
Identify it and replace it with a positive question. Give it a try, see what the results are like. And if it works for you, then maybe you should replace all of your negative questions moving forward. This is Kamal Ellis Hyman from Aim A Little Higher, <laughs> signing out. Peace. So here's a positive question. Hey, would you like to subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below? No, but seriously, if you found this video helpful, you think it can help other people, share it. And if you like the content we're doing, click that subscribe button. Peace.